Welcome back to Eccentric Nature! And today I'm going to take you on an amazing tour of the Prague City Gardens. Uh, it's a city botanical gardens and as well as a bit of the city itself. So this is going to be a fun little video today. Uh, before we get started, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, click that bell, and go ahead and hit that like button as well. Woo! Okay, the Prague City Gardens is massive. It's about 50 hectares, which is a hundred thousand square meters. Wow, it's basically it's not just a botanical garden. It also has several other features as a zoo attached. There's a vineyard attached to it as well. I mean, so many features are attached to this. It's just amazing. I had to like, you know, get some photos of the herbs right at the top, the lavender, the thyme they had, but that's probably not what you're mostly interested in, you know? Just seeing little photos of herbs. It's not as exciting when you've got lots of beautiful flowers around, though this white sage is mighty nice. I do like it myself. Ooh, there we go, flowers. Oh yeah, look at that, pizzazz for ya. Shabam. So yeah, there's lots of different flowers, lots of wonderful displays. It's a really well taken care of area, given the size of everything. Yeah, I, it's really impressive how well some of it's taken care of. I mean, some of it looks like a good British garden where they kind of just throw everything in there and let it just bloom like crazy. But other places are very well taken care of like this. The Japanese Zen garden area is amazing. It has all these bonsai plants up on their own little stands like this. And it has a, a little Zen garden area with the sand and everything. But lots of these wonderful uh, bonsais everywhere. It's, I mean, it's just wonderful. It, it was a very popular area. This really nice, uh, well put together path. There's the Zen garden I was talking about. Uh, yeah, it, it's it's a big area in and itself. And pumpkins! Woo! Hey, I actually had a little pumpkin festival going on when we were there. And they had all these different little crates and, and collections of pumpkins hanging out there. All different kinds, you know. Pumpkin mania! Yeah, lots of fun. Gourd! I mean, there's nothing else I can say about it. It's just a variety of pumpkins, like these. Bing! And then they only had a little mini greenhouse, uh, but it wasn't very nice, so uh, let's just skip this. Let's go over and hang out in a hammock, which is what we did. They had these hammocks out there, and we hang out, watch the view for a little bit before moving on to these weird things. <laughs> these sculptures. <laughs> they have a lot of different weird sculptures around this town. We're going to get into that later. Yeah. Hey, who's your new friend there? Nice giraffe you got. Or whatever that is. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, I don't understand them, but... Oh, fly, my friend. Fly. Yes. Be free. I was just having a little fun with slow motion camera. This also, they had this weird little uh, structure here. Not much to look at. Uh, it's fun from the inside, but it's mainly there so you can really admire the view, which is, you know, the impressive part. Boom. And then teepees. So many non sequiturs in this place. Why are there teepees here? I don't know. But they have bees. I love bees. Bees are great. I can take bees any time of the day. Uh, so there are lots of flowers around here that had, they were well populated by my bee friends. I do love them. It wasn't exactly the season to see lots of wonderful flowers here, but they did have uh, plenty that were out. Um, and these rows here were very impressive. Like I said, this is one of these areas that's really well taken care of all along this um, well-constructed path. Very beautiful. And they also had a little desert area as well. I mean, that's how big this place is. There's displays for almost everything. And they had a uh, greenhouse set up for this specifically with all of the different succulents and cacti. It's a, yeah, very nice little area for especially uh, my friends who love the succulents or go gaga over this, I'm sure. Very cool displays. I don't have much else to say about it, but I just like some of these. This one's really cool. I really like this one. Then outside they had a little pond area with some little tadpoles in it. Show me the tadpoles. Oh, look at those little things. Aren't they cute? Look at them moving around in there. Hello, little tadpoles. And then we took a walk down to go see the Fata Morgana greenhouse. Woo! This place is amazing. I can't wait for you to see it. Wait, wait what? What do you mean it's closed? No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately it was locked down for repairs while we were there. So sad! But anyways, here's some more flowers. Ooh! Is that a swan?
Okay, I want you to prepare yourself because Prague, while being a very beautiful city, is also a very bizarre city with its artwork. Like this one. Very famous piece, but very odd, very, very odd artwork all over the place. Like this. These sculptures. What is that deal? Ooh, yes. Um, I mean, I don't understand a lot. Uh, the, the, this, this one of Sigmund Freud hanging up. Um, this, yeah, this head of Sigmund Freud as well. Or oh, I'm sorry, this is Franz Kafka here. But this was really cool. This is my, my favorite sculpture. I mean, this is a very famous one. It continually turns around like this. His head spinning around in different forms. Very cool. I mean, but yeah, Prague is odd that way. And that's part of the reason I love it. It's got all of these bizarre sculptures next to really beautiful um, traditional ones like these. Big beautiful traditional castles and churches and obelisks. Hey, those two. Okay, now here we go. The Prague Astronomical Clock Tower is the third oldest astronomical clock in the world. They actually did a complete replica of it in Seoul, Korea. Now, the really interesting fact about this one is there's a legend that says that the brains behind the creation of it, Hannes Carolinum, I hope that's right, was blinded by the old town councillors with a hot poker because they did this out of fear that he would recreate the clock in another city. Well, it's very brutal and very unnecessary because they did it anyways. Somebody still recreated it. See, don't be mean, people. Be nice to each other. Now, there's lots of wonderful things around the city, uh, lots of old ancient architecture. There's even big tall bears. But we also found some interesting garden areas uh, around this old ancient church here as well, this little abbey essentially. And then again, there's more bizarre artwork as well. All on the main strip here, they had these various sculptures um, set up. So it is, it's a city of modern uh, art that's very bizarre next to these old buildings, which are very beautiful and interesting. And uh, it's hard to say just how cool that is, you know, it's from my mind. I loved how you have the old with the new and how Prague is this wonderful mismatch of all that. It's just so unique and interesting in that respect. And when I go travel, I love finding these unique and interesting things. You know, I don't like going to the big famous places like this, the Charles Bridge. Um, has some nice sculptures, but it's also incredibly busy. I mean, lots of people are on that bridge all the time. I like going around and finding the more unique parts and odd parts, you know, like that. Uh, that's not gonna keep me up at night or anything. But oh, it's a little bit windy while we're there too. Hang on, Rachel, we'll make it. Ah! Yeah, yeah, it was very windy that day. Carol Zeman, uh, who was an old uh, uh, director from Prague, and he created all these interesting instruments and really he was kind of a pioneer with a lot of special effects and that he created a lot of things that were practical effects that were used for a long time that really helped spur people's minds to make him create new things that were really interesting but uh, some fun photos of us enjoying some of his tricks that he used in his films. But things like this are what make Prague just so interesting to go visit and check out. There's there's just so many wonderful classical pieces surrounded by weird artwork. And then you have things like this, where there's a hard rack cafe with a beautiful artwork right on top of it. I mean, that, that's Prague. That is Prague in a, a microcosm. Right there, it's this wonderful mismatch of old and new, and that's why I love it. And then there's amazing hot chocolate there as well. I'm a big tr drinking chocolate fan, and man, they had some good ones here. Oh yeah, Choco Cafe, you guys rock. Mm -mm -mm. So many good ones. And then on top of it all, you got the Prague Castle, which is the largest castle in the world. The castle is 130 meters wide, and it's over 70,000 square meters of land. That's 18 acres, and it dates all the way back to the 9th century. It's huge. So, I mean, I can't say enough about Prague and its gardens. It's got so much wonderful artwork. And the gardens were amazing as well, the ones that we found, and all the uh, buildings were incredible. You know, it's turned into a bit of a tourist trap, but it's still an amazing, beautiful city. If you get a chance to visit there, I mean, they have like 1.8 million people, and they had like 6 million visitors there on average. So, <laughs> yeah, they get a little bit overwhelmed with the tourists. So, that's my tour, baby. I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day. We'll catch you next time. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button. 
Really appreciate it. It means a lot to my channel. Until next time, you guys have a wonderful day.